we'll start with this first question, and everybody has a mic, so. So say you were to serve as a mentor to a student with no prior experience, but who has an interest in entering your field, uh, what advice would you give him or her regarding their career choice? Uh, Mike, anything to comment to from right, the game so, industry um, view? Hello. Yeah. So um, aside from like, I'm in game design, so <coughs> everything I'm gonna say it kind of has to do with game design, but. Um, <laughs> Aside from playing a lot of games, obviously there's a lot of innovation in game design. So you can't just be the idea guy. You can't just say, I have all these great ideas for games and I'm gonna put a team together and just make everything happen. Um, you have to create interesting things. So a lot of um, game design is actually going out, playing games, learning what's being created, um, what the new trends are, and following those trends. Um, in actual the development of, of games, I would say learn concepts more than programs. Uh, programs are always changing. New game engines are always coming out. There's always new software, new technology. Um, everything's always constantly evolving and changing. But if you learn concepts, um, like if you press a key, change a variable that shoots an object or a projectile. And no matter what game engine you go into, they all use the same thing. They all have if-then statements, they all have variables, and they all have projectiles, they all have all the same kinds of objects. So instead of trying to learn just one program, try and learn everything that's out there. Try and learn different programs, because you're gonna notice um, similarities between them. And then when new stuff comes out, you're, you're just automatically gonna know how to use it. Uh, when I first started teaching here, um, there's two major 3D programs that are used in the industry, Unreal Engine and Unity. And I was huge in Unreal Engine. I thought that was the greatest thing ever. It looks beautiful, and I wanted to teach that. I talked to an industry professional, and he's like, no, teach Unity, you have to teach Unity. So I switched it up, learned Unity, and taught Unity, and then halfway through the school year, Fortnite comes out, and everyone loves Unreal Engine again. So now I'm jumping back into Unreal Engine and teaching some of that, and teaching level design with that. So it's always good to be flexible, and being able to be flexible, you're gonna be able to keep up with the trends and make really cool stuff. Very cool. It's like when they told me, learn bassoon, but it didn't happen because <laughs> bassoon's too hard.